Hi, my name is Angie Gillespie. I am the Joint Care Coordinator here at Baptist. Today we're going to talk about pain control. Remember that we cannot make your pain completely go away, but we aim to, control, to manage the discomfort as much as we possibly can so that you can sleep and move around as much as possible. Some ways that we control your pain is through narcotics. These are usually offered every four to six hours depending on how much you need them to control your pain. Some of the complications or um, contraindications from narcotics is they can cause constipation. So we encourage our patients to drink lots and lots of water and we also will provide them with stool softeners on a routine basis. Also, we do other methods of controlling pain besides um, pain medicine. We also use ice packs. The ice packs are utilized to help with the swelling and bruising and also the tightness around the incision and in joint so you can get relief from other ways besides medication. The ice packs will be provided and you change them out as they thaw. Also with the um, pain medication, that is utilized for your soreness and for pressure and we treat that with pain medication. We also encourage a lot of position changes so that your joint does not get stiff. We want you to get up and walk around, sit in your chair. We try to keep you out of your bed as much as possible because if you're out of the bed, you will be up moving around or sitting in your chair and letting your knee joint move as much as possible and your hip joint move as much as possible. It is the patient's responsibility to let us know when they're in pain. When you let us know that you're in pain, we will provide you with some pain medication. We also ask that if the pain medicine is not working, that you let us know because there are different ways, different medications and different ways to control your pain. You take your pain medicine on a regular basis and you tell the nurse if it's not working. Also ask questions. Be sure to understand the pain management efforts that are in place. We do not want you to wait as long as you possibly can before you take medication because if you do that, then you can't get the pain under control. And our goal is to keep you as much pain free as we can. But please don't forget, we cannot make the pain completely go away, but we do aim to manage the discomfort so that you can eat, sleep, and move around. We will do all we can, we can to ensure your comfort and safety. Your coaches, we encourage your family caregiver, loved one to come and be with you while you're having your surgery. It is not mandatory or a must that your family member or friend stay overnight with you. However, they are welcome to stay. We do ask that the coaches attend a group therapy session so that they will know what you're doing and what you're going to have to do when you go home so they can provide comfort, motivation, and observe therapy sessions. We want you to gain confidence for your discharge home. Daily newsletters. You will receive knees, keys, or hips hints depending on what type of surgery you have. And this lets you know what is expected and what will take place while you're here in the hospital. It's helpful hints, so to speak, so that you'll know what to, what's going to happen the next morning and throughout the day. Also on this, it lets you know how early your day is going to begin. We usually start at 5 a.m. with lab work, and then the, the nurse's assistants and the nurses usually assist you in getting up, getting cleaned up, and ready for breakfast. We do ask that you go ahead and get on your regular clothes because this is a wellness program. And we also want you to be free to move around and do as you please and to go to um, physical therapy. Post-op activity on surgery day. Please remember, keep your heels off the bed and out of the bed to the chair. Walk in the halls as much as you can. You can walk um, with assistance, but when you're released and you don't have to have assistance, you can walk without assistance. Knee patients, no pillows under your operative knee. This is a no-no. Hips, use your precautions. You will be made aware of your precautions of what to do and what not to do after your surgery procedure. Anticoagulation. As you um, have already been told in the segments before, we are very, very um, proactive in, um, for post-op complications. So in doing this, we will give you anticoagulations or blood thinners, also referred to as that, to pre um, prevent blood clots. There's different ways to, um, to prevent this. You can either have aspirin. Some physicians will use Coumadin if you've already taken Coumadin. Other physicians will use Levinox. Levinox is an injection 
You do not have to have lab tests, but you will get this injection while you're in the hospital and then you will go home with it for up to 14 days. The nurses will instruct you on how to take this to um, give yourself these injections and that you will also be given a home kit with a DVD, instructions, needle, needle box, and an alcohol swab. Please do check your insurance and your pharmacist to see if they carry this and your insurance covers it because a lot of um, small pharmacists do not carry it and you would want to be able for them to have it available for you because you will take it the next day after you go home. This concludes my section. My name is Angie Gillespie and I am the Joint Care Coordinator at Baptist. My extension is 601-968-4070 and please feel free to call me.